Hi guys, Tobo McGrath here. I wanted to teach you the uh, warm-up drill for technique one on the first set of Sagittas. But before I begin, I want to speak to you a little bit about the philosophy of Sagittas, especially the first set. <clears throat> In Sagittas, uh, you're not using strength to beat an opponent, you're not using speed. You're f essentially fighting someone with the same physical attributes as you. He's just as strong as you are, he's just as fast as you are. So you have to outthink him, you have to outsmart him. You have to move with more efficiency in your technique. And that's what the first set of Sagittas is all about. So the first technique we're going to learn, the first step in the drill, is how to throw a tight thrust from the backhand side, tight forehand thrust. So what I want you to do is start from a advanced stance, essentially you're Stick is chambered on the backhand horizontally, parallel with the earth, and resting on your uh, deltoid on your left side. I want you to wind, have the tip come out into your pectoral area, point towards the opponent, and thrust. So come in, thrust. And notice my body turns, and I thrust. Turn, and I thrust. Turn, and I thrust. So when we do the two man timing drill, you're going to see. You know, partner fighting on diagonals, and then I'll slip in a horizontal. And if he goes to block that horizontal, I'm kind of baiting him to get used to that, baiting a backhand. And then what I'll do is I'll slip this and it comes in straight with the thrust. You'll see that more of that later. So again, turn and thrust, turn and stretch, just come out close to the center of the body, point, thrust from there. From the front, stretch and thrust, stretch and thrust, stretch and thrust. The next drill is a takedown. You'll see the uh, takedown in the multiple attacks. And to a certain extent, that takedown in multiple attacks is a warm up for the first set of Sagittas. So, backhand jab coming right off the shoulder. So, with the thrust, you fed from the center line, the jab, you feed right off that back shoulder that's going towards the eyes. When he blocks that, you're going to go down uh, vertically around his weapon. With a stick, you go all the way down to the floor. You actually take a long step with that lunging to try to break the guy's big toe. Uh, with a sword, uh, you're going to go down just, or you have to go as down to his, his knee or thigh. But you go down and uh, backhand and then directly down. As you do this, you notice my left hand is against my forehead. That's a, a, actually a bit of a shield. Since you're going so low with the stick, you block that here. When you do this with the sword, uh, especially a bolo that's in a sash or a belt, you're actually gonna draw both the blade and the scabbard out. So your scabbard is gonna be resting against your arm here, and that's gonna act as a blocking surface. If the guy tries to cut you, you're gonna need to beam with that scabbard that's laid along your forearm. So anyway, come out with the jab from the shoulder, down, upward, and now you see a little timing tap here. That's simply to remind myself to curl in and then a corkscrew thrust from there. So the idea of this is to keep your weapon between you and the opponent for as large a percentage of time as possible that it's moving. So come out from the shoulder, jab, down, up, thrust, out, down, up, thrust. And this corkscrew thrust, the idea of that is if you're doing this nice and tight under control, slowly get the movement down, you should make this as efficient, as tight as possible. Because if you practice in the center of the bullseye, when you're not under the stress of an actual fight, you're gonna get a little sloppy during a fight, right? And it might expand your grouping, let's say. So if I'm keeping this right in a nice dot in the center of the bullseye under low stress, as you speed up, you might go a little faster and faster, and that thrust may turn into a jab, a little wider technique. But you're still on the target because you started off trying to hit the very dead center of the bullseye. So again, Work on efficiency on this. Don't, don't, this is not big strikes. 
this is nice and tight getting around the person the opponent's weapon then cutting up into the center line keeping your thrusts on the center line um, because you're fighting someone who's as strong as you as fast as you so you have to outsmart him you have to out efficient him with your techniques Thrust on the side out down up and thrust and if you want to take this down the way we exactly did it, take a step in, out, down to the floor, up, let that left hand tap. This is just a timing nod on your bicep. Don't smack the thing. That helps remind you to break the elbow. Corkscrew thrust and then come back in and then back on guard. And we, the first time we did it, we did a little timing beat with our heel. You would have us run that through, just sort of bouncing the heel up and down. And you would go up and down with the heel. Bump, 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 bump. As a little rhythmic timing thing. Um, so one of the guys, uh, his sister was an anthropologist who went around to indigenous tribes all over the world and studied their dances. A lot of times she would study war dances. And what she found out was uh, these were mnemonic devices where you were practicing a technique and in each step of the music it was a choreographed fight scene basically where they're practicing their technique to music and at each step they were getting the timing down and getting the technique so that's a little bit what this bounce is a four you're trying to get a a beat with that movement so each beat is a heel tap and it helps you uh, remember to get the rhythm down get the timing down so let's watch it from forward, out, down, up, thrust, back, out, down, up, thrust, back. And you'll see the stick is between me and the target a large percentage of the time, as much as possible. From the other side, out, down, up, thrust, back, out, down, up, thrust, back. And then from this side, out, down, up, thrust, back. Again, this is Sagittas. It's not Recontras. It's not smacking the guy as hard as you can with big cuts because you have time and you're trying to smother and overpower a, a, a weaker but faster opponent. It's not Contratus. We're trying to fit multiple hits in a little space because the guy's bigger and stronger than you and you're avoiding his power strokes with footwork. Sagittas, you're fighting another advanced guy and he's just as strong and just as fast as you. So you have to outsmart him. And that's the principle of the first set of Sagittas.